How's it going, everyone? All right, my hair is a little out of control today. Yeah, probably gonna need a haircut soon. Nope, nope, never, never doing it. Um, okay, so in today's video, uh, we finished phase one of building a server room. So uh, I mentioned in my last video that I was going to be uh, basically building a separate room for all of my server stuff, which is gonna give me complete sound deadening, should be silent after we're done with it. And uh, the thermal uh, management in there is just gonna be like a hundred times easier, especially during the summer um, where we're gonna have to pipe out uh, all the hot air and then do air conditioning to, to pipe in cold air. So this phase one was paramount for us to get us, me, to uh, be able to create that room and uh, everything went smoothly. It took a long time because there was a lot of stuff to move and a lot of piping that we had to remove. And um, anyways, so phase one is complete. Phase two is going to be building the wall, which uh, probably going to start here in about a week or so, hopefully. Um, so I hope you enjoy phase one and let me know what you think. So obviously the first thing that we had to do was uh, shut down the servers, remove the server from here, and then the most important thing actually was we needed to move my fiber optic cable to the other side of the room and that's going to go through the ceiling. So we needed to come up with a way, because the wire is so thin, to come up with a way to protect the end so no dust gets on the end of the fiber optic and make sure that it doesn't snag on any of the things when we pull it through the ceiling. All right, so we're just about to move my fiber optic cable and because it's such a thin uh, strand of optic cable, we sheathed it in shrink uh, wrap. Take that along uh, a wire of uh, a hanger that we pieced together so that it's a little bit more rigid. And then at the bottom, we actually capped it off with an optical cap and then we tape the paper here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to pull this back up through uh, the ceiling and we're gonna drop it back to where it's eventually gonna be, which is on this side of the room. So now we're just gonna pull it and that should be pretty easy. Now that we've got the fiber optic cable drawn out, we are removing the sound deadening material and we're going to be rerouting all of those network cables to the other side so we're going to have to figure out where they're coming from and we may have to pull and extend and re-terminate some of the ends which is kind of a pain in the ass uh, but it is what it is and we'll get it done so here we go all right we have all the cables run from the house which is great and they're all in the location of which the server is going to eventually be uh, so the next step actually now is uh, we're going to remove the rest of the sound material and then we're going to start, uh, probably route the powder and then remove everything from this room. And yeah, we're moving on here. So now we've got the room completely gutted. All the wires are moved to the location. We're now going to be cutting a hole through this drywall here, removing this vent uh, so I can get access to this area here. So um, right now we're just measuring out the hole that we're gonna be cutting over here so that we can then put a piece of plywood and I'll be able to access that storage from outside here. So we finally got the 
door cut and we're just wrapping up the install the storage door which works out perfectly um, this is again just a temporary thing it's giving me access to behind the stairs uh, as soon as we install the washer and dryer in here, uh, I won't be able to get under there. So now we can, and it works, it works beautiful. Beauty. Look at that. All right. So we're at the final portion of phase one. We've moved everything over to this location. We've created the extension for the washer and dryer. And now what we have to do is we're going to be moving this air exchanger across the room over to here. So that gives us an extra foot of wall space that we're gonna be able to build. And phase two, we'll be building the wall from here all the way across the room with a door so that this is all temperature controlled and separated from uh, inside there with sound deadening and whatnot. So here we go. I'm gonna be ripping out all this tube and installing, uh, extending the electrical from the air exchanger to the other side of the room. All right, this is a pretty big job actually. So I've got all the labels done. I've moved physically the box over here. Now I'm going to cut all the tube out and uh, start putting them into their proper locations. And then I'm gonna have to take all of these wires and bring them across tidy and install it over on this side here. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. Up here to make this more efficient. And you can see how straight the piping is. And we've gotten rid of all of this piping here. And soon we're gonna be getting rid of that. That's gonna go straight. And then that will go diagonal here. And yeah, that's a lot of piping that we got rid of. All right, guys, so phase one of building the server room is completed. We successfully were able to relocate my washer and dryer over to where the old server was located. We took all of the networking, everything, piped it over to the side, piped all the power over, and I was able to uh, build a door access panel here for my under stair uh, storage because as soon as I put in the washer and dryer I was I was gonna lose all that storage so that was really well done I'm really happy with that we had to run uh, different tubing this was originally over on the other side so we got rid of all that tubing and was able to pipe that to basically just the wall here it's an intake so it was previously uh, below there and not being used anyway. So now we've got that set up, that's awesome. Uh, the next thing we had to do was <clears throat> move this air, uh, I guess this, whatever it's called, air redirector, I don't know, cleaner, I, I don't know what it is. But anyways, we had to move that from, it was attached to the furnace, uh, so now that we, Took the cabling, rerouted that, and rerouted all of those pipes, which you saw earlier. It's all cleaned. That gives us a direct uh, path here to create the wall along the stud. <clears throat> I moved my Plex server and stuff over here. Storage, nice and neat. Went through all the storage, and we redid all the power, Ethernet, and um, fiber all to the back so it's nice and neat and uh, we mapped out every server's power so I know exactly how much wattage is coming from every server as well as we know exactly how much uh, circ how many circuits are uh, 
back here. So we have, we found two more circuits that I can use for adding more servers, which will be phase three, but um, I'm really happy with this phase. So uh, I need to get Goose back up and running. It didn't make the transfer for some reason. The BIOS uh, cocked out. So I had to get a new motherboard, uh, which I'm gonna be posting in a different video of of how we had to fix that. So right now, a lot of my Chia is offline, but uh, that's okay. I still have the two uh, 3070s that are in there that are doing Ethereum. So my Ethereum is back up to 100. I now need to get my Chia back up to 100. But other than that, I'm really happy with the room. It's really clean. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the second phase, which is building the wall. And that is going to immensely help me out with thermals and acoustics. So we already have all the sound deadening material that we're going to be putting into the, uh, the thick wall here and it should be completely silent when I close the door. So stay tuned, thanks for following, and uh, stay updated in the next couple of weeks.